Hey everyone, uh, it's been a while since my last video, but today um, I will show you a new custom feature that I have built uh, that can really enhance the user experience of your Copilot. Uh, a lot of my customers have asked for this feature, so I'm hoping this video uh, will help you uh, optimize your uh, Copilot. So let me start by defining the um, challenge uh, that we are trying to solve here. Uh, so there are two key uh, challenges that we see uh, as you scale uh, AI within your organization. So one of the common challenges today is when you expand the scope of your co-pilot, uh, which means you're creating more topics or you're creating hundreds of topic topics, your chances of uh, hitting the multiple intent uh, detection scenario will increase significantly. And this could be because of um, similar phrases on your topics or there might be overlapping topics. So uh, when that happens, um, your co-pilot will ask the user to uh, select from one of the intent. So uh, you might have already seen this, the co-pilot will ask, uh, did you mean uh, question when it's not able to figure out which topic to use. And then the end user has to select from uh, one of the options. So this is really a problem because um, sometimes you might not even see the right option. So your user is not able to get to the right information in the first place. So that's the first challenge where um, as the number of topics grow, uh, you might be hitting multiple intent detection scenarios more often. The second challenge is um, around Q&A bot. So if you have, let's say, a Q&A bot or a servicing kind of a chat bot um, where you have uh, information related to multiple products or procedures, then your agents or your end users might want to get some suggestion upfront before submitting the question um, to Copilot. For example, let's say if the agent starts typing um, uh, credit card, uh, he's searching for credit card information, so he types credit card. In that scenario, it would be helpful to pro provide suggestions showing different options related to credit card. For example, you can show things like open credit card, close credit card, pay your credit card. So these are different scenarios that can uh, happen uh, related to credit card. So instead of, you know, you user submitting the first question and then the bot um, asking uh, a, a follow-up question, uh, what we are trying to do is you are trying to show these options up front or you're providing suggestions up front so that user can get to the right information with minimum number of questions. So in today's demo, um, that's the solution I will uh, I have built and I will show a demo. Um, so with this, you can, what I have done is I have created a intelligent type ahead functionality that can provide uh, real time suggestions uh, for your end users. So once these suggestions are shown, user can click on them and uh, that suggestion is then sent to your co-pilot as a question. Uh, this uh, really optimizes the number of questions required uh, to get to the right information and also uh, helps you uh, uh, optimize your message consumption. So you're consuming less number of messages because you are asked, getting the information uh, quickly instead of you know going back and forth with the co-pilot to get to the right information. So with that, what I'll do is I'll show a quick demo and then I will show you how I have uh, created or built this uh, solution. So here we have a custom canvas and I have embedded a chatbot. So I can click on this chatbot bubble to launch my co-pilot um, and then I can start uh, interacting with my co-pilot. Uh, so in this case, I want, uh, I want my user to start the interaction, but if your use case requires proactive uh, interaction, your co-pilot can also start by greeting the user. So in this case, I can um, start asking my questions. So this co-pilot is uh, 
created to provide information related to Power Platform. So it's linked to Power Platform documentation website. Um, so I can ask questions related to Power Platform. Um, so at this point, you can see um, I have, uh, I'm ready to ask questions. And at this point, uh, with this new feature, what you can do is you can simply click the space bar and it will show you all the list of topics that this copilot can support. Uh, so in my case, uh, just for this demo, I have created three custom topics um, related to Power Apps, Power Automate, and Copilot Studio. Uh, that's why it's showing three. But if you have uh, hundreds of topics, you can create a list and then let the user choose um, which product or which uh, procedure they want to uh, uh, look up. So in this case, I want, let's say I want to just uh, learn about Power Apps. I can click on Power Apps. And you can see that question is then submitted to the copilot. It's going to use the um, generative AI feature and provide me a response. Um, so this experience you can design based on your uh, use case. But what I want to show here is the ability to use these suggestions to get uh, or to uh, arrive at the right topic. Uh, same way, um, I can now start typing ahead. So if I type power, power, you can see um, only two options are shown. Same way, if I start typing Copilot, you can see um, it's showing me uh, this Copilot Studio option. So it's a, a type ahead functionality. So based on what user is typing, it will provide different options um, uh, upfront or suggest intelligent suggestions upfront uh, so that the user can select these um, options. Uh, one thing to note here is right now, these suggestions that I have here are basically um, uh, names of the topics that I have created. In my scenario, I wanted to show the topic name as suggestions, but you can also use things like uh, trigger phrases that you have defined um, to guide the end user. So you can use the you'll use the trigger phrases uh, as suggestions when user is typing the question. So that's the uh, feature that I wanted to show. This is really important uh, because uh, it can really save a lot of time for your end users and also optimize the consumption of messages. So you can see um, as your list grows, user is able to uh, quickly find uh, information and get more of a guided experience as um, as they are looking for looking for different information. So that's the demo uh, of this this feature. And now I'll quickly show you how I have created this. Um, just keep in mind that um, this is a custom canvas solution. So you have to create a custom canvas in order to uh, in order to build this. So here uh, you can see. Um, so here is the uh, HTML code for my solution. And I'll quickly walk through what this um, code does. So if you look at uh, this HTML, uh, this is the main logic here. It starts right here. So what I'm doing here is I have first created a um, array of uh, topics. So th this will include the list of topics that I have uh, within my Copilot Studio. And that list um, I'm getting by calling an API. So you can see here, I have an API that basically is created using Power Automate. So just to show you, um, I have this Power Automate flows that gets triggered uh, from my custom canvas, and it gets me the list of topics that I have for this specific copilot. And then once the list is um, available to the canvas, uh, I do want to exclude any system topics because um, as you know, when you create the copilot, uh, new copilot, uh, you'll have about eight or nine system topics, and you don't want to show those uh, as part of your suggestion. So what I have done is I have uh, created a um, array that 
uh, includes the name of uh, system uh, topics so that I can exclude them from the suggestion list. So with that, I get you can see here, there's a function that calls th this endpoint that gets me the list. Next, I filter out the uh, system topics here. And then once that's done, um, I have a function that can um, uh, that gets triggered as soon as user starts typing. So basically, when user is um, interacting with the bot, it uh, invokes this function, and then it will start showing suggestion on your custom canvas. So right here, you can see it's uh, basically I have a listener that listens to um, uh, listens for users' input as soon as they type. It's calling this function and then showing the suggestions that are relevant based on what they are typing. So that's the uh, design for the custom canvas. Now on the Copilot Studio side, uh, it's fairly simple. You can see um, over here, I have added the Microsoft uh, Power Platform documentation site as the knowledge uh, because the Copilot that I showed uh, uh, allows users to search for Power Platform information. And then for topics, what I have done is I've created the three topics, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Copilot Studio. So those are the ones that you, you, can, you saw on the demo um, when user was typing. Uh, it, it can show all the topic name, names um, as suggestions. Uh, like I said, in my case, I'm showing topic names, but you can also um, uh, include uh, intents if that's more useful for your use case. Once that's done, um, the only thing uh, I've done is under settings, uh, I have obviously enabled the Gen AI so that it can detect the right topic. And then on the security side, I'm using direct line uh, token uh, to make the connection between custom canvas and my Copilot Studio bot. So with that, uh, I will end uh, today's video. I hope um, this is this was useful. If there are any questions, uh, do let me know. Thanks, everyone.